Forget using USB mics such as the one on the right. I've tried expensive ones and cheap ones, but for me, they don't pick up their voices that well. What does work well is this one on the left. These are Bluetooth earbuds with inbuilt mic. So these are called Soundpeats True Air 2 earbuds. They're around £25, so they won't break the bank. These tiny things have picked up their voices better than anything I've tried. You only need to use the one, just the left one. The mic is right here at the tip. It's super tiny, but mighty. For listening back to their voices, you'll need some good earphones. So these are just a generic cheap Chinese set. They're not too bassy, which is much better for increased clarity of their voices. So now you'll need to download Crisp, which is just conference call software to get rid of background noise and leave human speech. This is the magic ingredient which will let you hear spirit voices. It comes with 240 minutes free every week, which should be plenty enough for your own personal sessions. You can pay approximately £43 a year to have unlimited use though. So now you can go to the CRISP website and download the latest version, but I'm still using an older one. The older version works well for me, and if it ain't broke, don't fix it. If you want to get the same version I use, then you can download it from this website. It's completely safe. The version I use is the March 5th, 2021, 1.22.12. So go ahead and download that. Click the green button to download it, not the blue one above. The links to these websites will also be in the description below. So now you also need to download Audacity. This is the audio recorder and editor. It's completely free. You can download any version of this. The latest is fine. The program looks a bit intimidating, but it's pretty easy to use. And for this purpose, you can just stick with the default settings. So go ahead and download that as well, and install both Crisp and Audacity to your computer. Go ahead and open up Crisp. It's important you always do this one first before opening Audacity, otherwise Audacity won't recognise Crisp. So connect your Bluetooth earbuds to your PC or whatever mic you are using and Chris should recognise it. Make sure the mic you are using is showing under microphone in Crisp and the blue remove noise just under that is on. When you listen back to your recording you'll want to set the speaker part below to use your earphones but you can ignore that bit for now. Next go to the three dots top right click that and go to advanced settings. You'll want to make sure these two boxes are unchecked and that it's set to best quality here. So leave Crisp running in the background and now open up Audacity. Check the microphone input here and make sure it's set to Crisp microphone. You can ignore the speaker part until you listen back to your recording when you'll set it to crisp speaker. Remember, you've already set your mic up in crisp. You can leave all the rest of the settings in Audacity at its default. Just one thing I've found is bottom left, the default is set to 44,100 Hz, but I found 48,000 Hz to be a sweet spot. You'll still get decent results even if you don't change it though, so don't worry too much. And that's pretty much it. I use my front speaker from my surround sound speakers to play the diode sound. I find setting the speakers to stereo rather than 5.1 works better. You'll want to put your mic approximately one inch away facing the front of the speaker. So now all you need to do is say hello to the spirits, ask you questions, let them speak, whatever you want. That waveform you can see on the screen is their voices being recorded. Now you may need to adjust your volume of the diode sound coming out the speaker. 
you want to see the waveform fairly big, try and match it as closely as possible to what you can see here. Make sure Crisp is using your earphones and inside Audacity the playback is set to Crisp speaker. Now don't just hit play and listen through the whole recording at once because you won't be able to hear it properly. You need to highlight small sections and just play those back one at a time and usually several times in a row. This is the time consuming part of the whole process. A 10 minute recording, for example, can take a few hours to go through bit by bit. It's very rewarding and fascinating though. They often speak fast, so you can go here and adjust the playback speed. Even slowing it down slightly can help. You can change it to 0.90 or whatever you want. Then hit the small play button next to it. So some sentences or words can be quieter than others and sometimes you'll need to highlight those and amplify them by going to effects then amplify and then you can play it back. Some will be unintelligible, some too quiet, others with too much static coming through. All that is completely normal. You should expect to be able to understand 50 to 75% of the recording and over time, as you get used to the listening process and tune your ear to the unique way they speak, it'll become much easier and a little quicker.